Hey y'all, welcome to a day in my life. So today we're gonna be going to buy, sell, trade, the post office, I'm gonna be going thrifting, I need to do some shipping. So I'm just gonna take you along with me today. Um, before the video, I did already package up my items that sold yesterday, which was Monday, and earlier this morning, which is Tuesday. So you will see some sales from eBay and Poshmark. I didn't make any on Mercari. I will be sharing those sales with you and I'm going to share what I'm bringing to buy, sell, trade. So you guys know, I feel like I'm mentioning this in every video and I really need to quit. I'm trying to up my ASP. So I'm trying to get rid of some things that have just been sitting for about a year. And then my mom has also been giving me items that I don't think will sell for 35, but I think the buy, sell, trade will want them. Let's go ahead and start with buy, sell, trade. So I think I pulled maybe five or six items from my inventory room and the rest are for my mom that she just gave me. So I'm going to sell Encore. I pretty much have stopped selling to Play-Dohs. They just don't give me a lot of money whenever I go there. So my Stall Encore here in Mississippi, I'm filming this at the end of January. They're looking for shoes and I've also been looking at some of their styled outfits that they've been posting on Facebook. And it looks like they're going for sandals, wedges, I do live in a warm climate here in Mississippi on the Gulf Coast. Um, in fact, today I think it's like going to be close to 70 and I definitely have my AC on. So with all that said, I got a bunch of shoes for buy, sell, trade and I was thinking about Valentine's Day as well. So I'm thinking pinks, purples, reds some feminine stuff they may want for Valentine's Day. So let me just let me just share with you what I'm bringing. It's this box over here. Okay, Mark Fisher wedges. So these were something that I picked up to resell. I personally really like Mark Fisher, um, but unfortunately some of his stuff just doesn't move and these sandal wedges are one of those items. I'm gonna set those over there. Um, those are from my inventory. They've been sitting for a year. These I got from a flip client and you guys may have noticed I have not done any flip videos in quite some time. So flip has not announced this. At least I don't think they have, but I'm pretty much sure that they're done as far as the consignment part of the flip app because I have not been able to apply for lots in months. I, I don't think, I think the last time I was able to apply for a lot was maybe August or September. Um, and then I was working with a few clients who had larger lots and we were extending them out. And then Flip sent me a message probably about two weeks ago telling me that they were no longer extending lots. Um, so, and I basically either had to do a buyout for a customer or send everything back. Anyway, all that to say, I'm pretty sure flip consignment is over, which is really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate because um, I was making pretty good money on the app. I made thousands last year just reselling clothes for other people on the app. This came in an old flip lot. It's just a pair of these purple J. Crew joggers. Very cute. I am pretty much done with J. Crew pants. Can't sell them to save my life. I'm going to interrupt my own video. Future Alicia here. I'm done. I, I'm going into a rant. I, I'm going into a rant right now. I am done with freaking style encore. I am so mad. I'm not even going to finish showing y'all what all I was bringing a bunch of new at tags items. I'm so done with people wasting my time. Style encore is at the top of the freaking list of people that waste my time. Last year, you guys, I probably brought items to Style Encore, I want to say like maybe six or seven times, maybe a little bit more. You guys, I don't even think I made $200. So I don't know why I was assuming, oh, things will be different this trip. I don't know how many items I brought, like 16 items or something. They took nothing. Mind you, I'm shopping in there, seeing things that are super outdated, came from Marshalls, were $12.99 to begin with, stained, ripped. But you guys are going to take my Madewell, my new Gianni Benny, Lululemon. You guys don't want any of that, right? You don't want any of that. You want 
the ripped Rugrats t-shirt with the new tags from Target. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm done wasting my time with these people. It's not worth it. Even though a lot of these items were free to me and whatever, um, some of them weren't. I had to go into my inventory system, take them out, make sure, you know, I took documentation of what I'm taking up there just in case they don't put it back in my bin. We've all had that happen. I feel like we all have at least. Uh, I don't know. I see so many videos of people being like, like Amanda Pruitt, she goes and she buys like thread up boxes, right? And then she'll go to buy, sell, trade and make like pretty much all the money back just from buy, sell, trade. I don't have that. I, I, you know, and I live in Mississippi and I'm giving them brands that I feel like are good, right? New items. Now, am I going through each and every item and ripping out that date tag? No, I'm not. It's just that is so much extra energy. All this to say, maybe it works for you. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad if you guys can use a buy, sell, trade store as like a form to make money. For me, it's just not. For me, it's just not. And I really wanted to put this rant in here because honestly, I just need to keep myself accountable so that next month, whenever I'm looking at my stale items like, oh, I've had that for a year. Maybe I should just bring it to Stall Encore and make $3 and make a video about it. All that time and energy to make $3, hopefully, like let's cross our fingers that we're going to make the $3. That usually doesn't happen, right? Or get told, oh, your stuff's out of, out of style. It's over two years old. Meanwhile, meanwhile, we go and we see your denim selection, your pants, your Chico's. Like, I just don't, I don't get my style encore. I, I don't get where they're going. I, I really don't. I really don't. Um, anyway, I wanted to put this in the video just to tell you guys, if y'all see a future style encore video from me, I don't know if I want to include Once Upon a Child in the buy, sell, trade thing for me. I don't go there a lot, but I feel like I get, I, I feel like they buy a lot more than Style Encore every day. Y'all know I'm done with Play-Dohs. What a joke. My Play-Dohs. What a joke. Um, anyway, I'm done with Style Encore. If I ever make another Style Encore video, I want you guys to like, send me hate in the comments. I don't know. I, I need like some kind of, some kind of accountability so I don't go back there because it's just going to waste my time. I think the most I've ever made there was like $60. And honestly, at this point, um, I'm sourcing better. I'm not going to have a lot of items. Hopefully, hopefully that's what we're doing. Checking our sell to rate. Hopefully I'm not going to have items that sit for three or four years to where even if I get $2 for them, I'll be happy. At that point, y'all, we should just donate. I could make mystery boxes, right? I could make a mystery box, put it all in one size, sell it, make $15. I'm just saying, I'm done. I'm really done wasting my energy 2024. I'm done wasting my energy with people that are wasting my time. Stall Encore, they're wasting my time. That's my rant. Finite. Done. Over it. Finished. No more. So we're going to scrap that whole part of the video, um, which was like the main part of my video for this day. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed my rant. All right, let's go over what sold recently. So on eBay, I only had a few sales. The first one was a bundle sale for $30 for two dresses. One was an Eileen Fisher dress and one was a soft surroundings dress. I probably only had about $5 invested in both of the dresses total and so i accepted the 30 dollars offer and i ended up refunding her uh, a little bit of money because she did um i overcharged her on her shipping cost so i did refund her and it turns out uh i didn't know this before i accepted her offer but she's actually a viewer of the channel so hi if you are watching thank you so much for your purchase and i hope you love your dress okay or dresses i should say okay so y'all know I've been talking about 
swimsuits are selling, get your swimsuits listed. And that's kind of, I feel like that's like really what's been selling swimsuits and dresses are really what's been selling right now here in January for me personally. And I just sold a flawed Miracle Suit on eBay for $28. Miracle Suit is one of my top selling brands. I want to say I've sold about 15 Miracle Suits in all conditions, like from excellent condition. I don't know if I've ever found a new Miracle Suit now that I'm thinking about it, but I've sold them in excellent condition all the way to like not great at all condition. They've all still sold, okay? So personally, I pick it up. I I can get it cheap though. You guys know my thrift store prices. It's like four or $5 for a swimsuit here at my thrift stores. So yeah, this flawed Miracle Suit sold for $28. And then my last sale, which I didn't even know if I wanted to share it with y'all because it's such a like a low dollar sale. I did sell this Halo sleep sack for $7. I just listed it for I think three or four days ago for like $10. Um, I had actually thought it was already listed kind of like those kids boots. I must have had a day. This was in my head. I must have had a day where I thought I photographed a bunch of kids items and never listed them because I was going through my kids stuff and a bunch of stuff was not listed, including this Halo sleep sack. And I know I bought this probably five months ago ish. And anyway, yeah, it quickly sold. It's out of my inventory room, room to bring in something that's going to sell for hopefully a lot more than $7. So yeah, those were three eBay sales. Now let's move over to Poshmark. I have three sales on Poshmark to share with y'all. The first one is this skirt. And I really, really hope the customer likes it and it fits her because it's extremely small. It's super stretchy. Um, but at first when I actually got this item, I thought it was a little girl's item. Like that is literally how small it is. So fingers crossed that my customer is happy when she receives it, but this skirt did sell for $20. I've had that for years. I got that out of a boutique by the box collaboration um, unboxing video I did for the company. And some stuff sold really quickly and some stuff like this skirt did sit around. This was kind of a disappointing sale. Um, this is a Liberty House dress. It did sell for $35, which is really the price I'm shooting for going forward. Um, but when I picked it up, I was hoping to get around 70 for it. And I've had it, what, a year? I think a full year now. So whenever I got a $35 offer yesterday, I went ahead and accepted it. I probably will still pick it up in the future because um, it is still selling for the price point I want. But yeah, I was definitely shooting for double that whenever I originally picked it up. This will be my second time selling this All Saints sweater. I bought this on Whatnot for myself. I think I wore it maybe once or twice and I really did not like it because every time I lifted my arm, the whole thing, like it came, like the whole thing came up and it was like really, really revealing. But only when you put your hand up. When it when you put your hand down, you were good. So I probably could like film a video in it as long as I didn't reach up. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I sold it once on eBay. I want to say it sold for around twenty five dollars. This was like half a year ago. The customer didn't like it, so she returned it. And I do not offer returns on eBay. But she put in an item as not described return request, which you know. We got to accept. Uh, so I went ahead and just accepted that last year, relisted it, and it finally sold again for $19 on Poshmark. If it, get re if it gets returned to me again, I am, I'm either going to bring it to Style Encore or I'm going to bring it straight to Goodwill. So you guys, that's what I'm bringing to buy, sell, trade today. That's what sold recently. Let's go ahead and leave the house and see if we can make any money at buy, sell, trade. We are gonna run to a really small Goodwill that's right in that area. And hopefully I find something for myself. You guys know I've been thrifting uh, for myself recently. I've been going towards a capsule wardrobe, trying to find more pieces I can do uh, for that this year, 2024. I haven't had much luck. Um, so fingers crossed today, we can find some good items to resell and some items for me. So let's go. All right, made it to Goodwill. Stall Encore told me it would be about an hour, so that's about how long I'll be in here. 
So I only found a couple things. Uh, this is one of the things I found. It's a pair of wide leg Judy blue jeans. Most of my Judy blue only sells for like $20, $25. Uh, but these wide legs do sell for around that $35 mark. Great sell their rate on those. So I did pick them up. And last thing I picked up to resell were these new with tags, BCBG Max Azria metallic pants. They just sold for 50 something dollars on eBay and I've had luck with the brand. So I got those. Um, I think they'll do well they're really fun and also wide leg with the belt and this is the only thing i found for myself but i wasn't crazy about it and i didn't have time to try it on hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you very soon for another bye y'all